Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the KitKat launcher on any Android device. Uh, this would be any Android device 4.1 or higher, so it's not going to work on uh, Froyo devices. Um, just mostly on newer devices like the Note 3, Galaxy S4, uh, HTC One, anything that's running 4.1 or higher, you will be able to install it on your device. So as you all know, the KitKat launcher uh, was supposed to be exclusive on the Nexus 5, but the guys over at Android Police have extracted that and provided it in APK form. Uh, the Google search application, when it was updated, it did include uh, the update for the launcher as well. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to install that real quickly. I just wanted to talk about uh, the Google Experience Launcher. So you'll notice right away it looks different. App icons are different. They look a little bigger, uh, a little brighter. And you guys can see the scroll animation looks a little different. You do have some new cards as well. As you use this, it will learn the websites that you like and it will give you updates on those websites. So if you follow uh, SageRoyModerX.com every time I put up an article, it will update that card for you and you can see all the latest uh, news from whichever website you like to visit. There are some other new cards, a news topic card and a what to watch card, traffic incidents uh, using the ways on maps, recurring reminders. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you can set a recurring reminder. That's also new in this latest KitKat launcher. You can get real time scores for your favorite teams, including rugby. See when your packages are ready for in store pickup. And you can bring back dismiss cards by pressing the undo button, which is a nice new feature. The KitKat launcher itself runs pretty smoothly. It does include the wallpapers. So you do get all your KitKat wallpapers. If you open up the app drawer, you'll see that uh, the app drawer looks a little different too. The only thing that uh, we're not getting the full experience here is the transparent navigation bar. That is uh, included in the KitKat launcher, but it only works if you are running a 4.4 uh, ROM or if you're running a 4.4 system. So for now, if you're not running 4.4, you're not going to get that transparent navigation bar. So real quick, to install this, basically we're just going to sideload the application. So you'll need two applications. I will include links to those in the description. Uh, like I said, those were provided by Android Police. Okay, you're looking for the search application. When you install this, it will replace the application that's already there on your phone. So you'll check unknown sources, and then you'll install the Google search. Okay, as soon as that's finished, uh, you'll install the Google launcher. Some of the devices have uh, been doing a really good job at updating their devices to this KitKat Android operating system. Motorola, of course, are owned by Google now. So they have done an excellent job at updating their devices. And of course, your Nexus devices are getting their updates. If you just went out and spent a bunch of money on a Note 3, um, chances for getting KitKat on that device are slim, but this is a way that you can kind of have the Google experience on your phone now. Uh, so, big shout out to Android Police for providing those APKs. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me more than you know. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on awesome applications like this, as well as ROMs, root guides, and everything else that I like to cover. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.